Okay, let's take a look at this one. Another frantic one, I thought anyway. Okay, so came through the center here, so they're tucking through the middle. So we captured, let's get rid of them, make some space around the king. So we attack the king with the bishop, and then doubly attack the knight because we got the x-ray through to the king. And as usual, having a look at the gauge bar, seeing if the computer is our friend or not. Sometimes it doesn't have to be our friend, so long as we're happy with the position we've got. Okay, so capture, capture. Okay, so at this moment in time, yeah, that looks fairly favorable. We're going to be um, up the, well, winning the rook. So basically being up the exchange, but is our position working for us now? Did I get a bit too arty or not? So pushed on to the bishop, moved the rook out of the way defending the knight because the bishop was x-raying through. Oh, it doesn't like that, it doesn't like that, yeah. When you're scrabbling around, um, moving fast, sometimes it doesn't work, but I wanted to get the bishop off there. I don't really see a major issue with that, so I just want to see obviously what the computer's saying there. Bishop takes e2, which is probably what they did, isn't it? Oh no, it didn't. Okay, so bishop takes e2, so it's on the queen. Gets rid of the knight, which is protecting the bishop. Hey. And this is saying, go here, queen d2 to protect the bishop. But then the bishop just gets away, doesn't it? Or does it? It's got three pieces, a human would move back here, wouldn't it? Oh, charm. Bishop takes. Oh, I've got the free bishop. All ah, right, okay. All right, so they're out and out winning. We've moved the queen up. So the bishop then takes. Queen takes. And then he escapes the bishop. Bishop d3, it's saying here. Wow, that was a move order thing. Crikey. Yeah, I have to pay attention to that again. Oh, man. It's been too arty. I think if I. Let me just go back a little bit. Let me go back. Let's try and simplify. I think in a way, because we've got the rook off the board, it's a major piece off the board of theirs. So I don't think we need to lose too much sleep about that really. Because we're now up the exchange, so it's for the opponent to fight back. But maybe we didn't even need to move the knight. I mean, we could have just brought the bishop here or something we didn't need that was too arty you know the move in the night out of the way we didn't really need to do that smallest of potatoes this is why we like doing these evaluations um yeah 
because we're starting to get a little bit too arty with ourselves and keeping it simple really as the gauge bar is showing there it's, it's hardly moved yeah I don't think it suggested that though it suggested queen moving the queen to f3 but no I think me in my normal gameplay would just do a simple maneuver like this but already up the exchange why are we going arty and saying oh you can't take my knight yeah that messed that up that's fine lesson learned although in a way if you have a look at that that wasn't the bad move it only dropped point 0.2 so that wasn't the bad move this wasn't the bad move either it was the bishop moving to attack their bishop that was the bad move because I didn't once you've got a piece under attack you don't then go and attack another piece that's part of our mantra in the early part of our um, development of the mantra because then you lose you lose that tempo and that is really key in this particular game here so I really have to bring that back when you've got a piece under attack don't necessarily go and attack another piece unless of course like the rooks being in the centre of the board it's to your benefit and this particular move isn't to my benefit because I've already got a piece under attack and I'm going to lose out on tempo because this piece is actually protecting this piece interesting times I like it okay so we brought the rook across so that's not the bad move castles but that is the bad move because of what we've just explained okay good and obviously we got it back a little bit but there must be some more dips somewhere and then they capture capture so they've lost that momentum in terms of um, using the move order type thing so now we're defending just blocking off just bringing everything back and just capturing pieces safely and just looking to try and get this queen off the board if we can and it does not like that that's a bad situation because their queen should have taken again that's a move order thing and it's going you know, count one takes and then this rook doesn't have any protection on so he would have got that back a lot of stuff going on there this is why i'm liking doing these in, um evaluations because i know especially in these quick games um, i'm not always finding the computer moves but the humans that we're playing against aren't finding them either so that's a good thing for us um, but as we want to develop we want to try and avoid these types of fancy type tactical type things because we are positioning players and if you're playing somebody who's just tactic orientated then they may win out using those tactics against you okay right so a few things to pick up from there well these last few games uh, playing against these um 1400s well this is a uh, nearly 1500 but uh, it's good practice and i think the rest is kind of oh this was a this was a good one I, <laughs> I got the shock of my life um but i did realize that the tempo would, was going to be on our side because that passed pawn what's he going to do he's got a nice little check on my king and stuff like that but once he does take then we've won the tempo because the king is behind our pawn we've won the tempo to go and get castled and um, not castled they're uh, promoted so that was a nice key element of learning and knowledge for ourselves in that yes the shock factor of them getting the check and the x-ray you know basically getting the rook off the ball but did they actually win out in the longer term so it's just position now and just trying to fly them home so very interesting game these games have been very educational for myself so far so yeah okay i'm gonna play a few more 